Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. Today we are installing Petco Molly Panels on our 2021 Ford F-150. Tools needed, 316th Allen wrench, T30 Torx bits, and a 10 millimeter wrench. First step, we need to make sure our panel isn't going to hit the clamps on a roll-up cover. Depending on your setup, you might need to move the clamp. First step, we need to take the factory truck bed tie-down plate off. Your Molly panel bracket attaches, installs directly underneath that plate, and reuses your factory Torx hardware. Threading in by hand helps reduce the chance for cross-threading, which is never a good sign. And after you tighten those down, your Molly panel attaches directly onto the bracket using Putco supplied hardware. After you fully tighten down your panel, you can go ahead and reinstall your brackets if possible, or move them down where you're not going to have any inter interference with your Molly panels. Moving on towards the back of the panel, on the F-150 it is a two-piece panel for the long box setup. Removing that tie-down plate, installing your bracket, and installing the panel onto the bracket. The nice thing with the F-150, if you have the onboard generator system, it does come with a cutout so you can still access your factory plugins. And after we get our hardware fully tightened down here, we have fully installed our driver side Molly panels. The nice thing with the Molly panels is you do have the option to go with a singular setup for just the driver, just the passenger, or just the front, or the full set like we did. Moving on to the passenger side, installs just like the driver's side, removing our truck bed tie down plate, removing our Torx hardware, and installing our Putco Molly panel bracket directly underneath our tie down plate. The nice thing with this side is it does work with your factory tie down hooks. Initially, we didn't think there would be enough space, but upon further investigation, it worked perfectly. Another nice setup and another good thought by Putco. And after we reinstall our brackets using the factory Ford Torx hardware, we can grab our Molly panel and attach it onto both of our brackets. The great part about the Putco Molly system is they do have a Molly, a full mounting plate as well for the Overland rack. So if you have the Overland rack set up like we do, you can use the same technology that they have to tie down your items on your rack system as well. And here's our afterthought. Hook works great with the Molly panel. Moving on to the front half of this setup, removing our truck bed tie down plate and hardware. As you can see, there's a little bit of a pattern here. Installing our bracket underneath the tie-down plate, reusing our factory Torx hardware. Making sure they're nice and tight so your panels aren't going to go anywhere. Check in your clearance for your clamps and then go ahead and install using your Putco supplied hardware. We final tighten this down. We are wrapped up with the passenger side. Now, since we did go for the full setup, we also have the front portion of the Molly panel setup. Here, we start by removing our factory tie down hooks. And again, it does work with the Molly panel brackets. So you can go ahead and reinstall those on top of your brackets as well. The brackets are side dependent. You wanna make sure you get the left and right side on the correct side. Install them just as you see Kenny doing here. And after we fully tighten our hardware, then we can move on to the top side of our mounting brackets. Now with our Overland rack setup, the one issue we did run into with this system is the hardware does not thread through the bracket setup. As you can see, they supply a rubber washer setup initially. But with Overland Rack, there's a little bit bigger bolt that goes through. Quick fix to this was drilling the bracket out to fit our hardware. Quick and easy, and we're on our way. 
Go ahead and thread that bolt back through your overland bracket. And it's the same on the other side, so as you can imagine, drill the hole the same size. Go ahead and install your hardware, snug it down, and then we're ready for the last and final Putco Molly panel, the front portion of the panel, and all that's left is installing using the Putco supplied hardware. Starting by hand, greatly reduce the amount of cross threading that could happen. It's always a good idea to leave your hardware a little bit loose until, you're, until you have all of it in as well, in case there's any shifting that needs to be done with the panel. And after all of our hardware is in and in ready to go, we can go ahead and fully tighten all of our hardware. And if you loosen your overland rack to make this work, don't forget to tighten that bad boy down. And there we have it everyone. Our Putco Molly panel setup is fully installed. RHR swag for your latest and greatest truck accessories. Like, follow, subscribe, RHR swag.